Fujifilm 35mm f2 is not what you think. Let me tell you my real world impression about this lens after using this lens for over a year. Hello there, my name is uh, Tudor Matescu and in this video I want to tell you my experience regarding the 35mm f2 lens from Fujifilm. I want to tell you and show you the pictures that I've got using this lens on my Fujifilm X-Pro3 and also on my Fujifilm X-E4. So before starting this video please subscribe to my channel for more content related to photography, Fujifilm and photography gear. So let's get to the subject. The first thing that I want to address it is how I feel about this lens. It is fun to use. Can you obtain good results with this lens regarding different styles of photography? And I want to tell you that yes, it is very fun to use this lens because it is very small. It is weather sealed. It is focusing very fast. So yes, you can obtain all kinds of good results because it has an F2 aperture on this APS-C body. So it is light, easy to carry, good image quality, good weather sealed lens. I've used this combo on a heavy snowing day and I've got no problems. Also, I've used it on a raining day and so on. So it's a, it is a huge deal, a very huge deal. This means I can take this lens and do all kinds of street photography, of family photography, of nature photography. So it is really a package that it delivers. On my X-Pro3 it is not blocking the range finder. The view with this lens and with this lens hood it is amazing using the optical viewfinder. So it can be used with the optical viewfinder, with the LCD screen, it can be used very well on XC4 and so on. So yes, yes, you can use this lens on any Fujifilm body and you will get great results. Let's talk now about the image quality. One of the most important factors regarding a lens it is image quality. Can you get good images with this lens? And I must tell you that yes, you get very very good images out of this lens. It is an amazing amazing lens that can be used by night, by day, on bad weather, on good weather, indoors and outdoors. So the image quality it is very good. I'm very satisfied. It is not something that I can say mm, I don't like it how it perform in this area. No. From F2 I get good good results. It is really amazing and I really like uh, the look for portraits. The portraits are coming very sharp, uh, they are looking very contrasty, I feel the resolution and the texture. You've got some bite with this lens and I really really like that, I really like that. With the 35mm f1.4 you don't have this bite. I don't know if it's uh, the fact that I use this lens at f2 f2.8 and the other lens at f1.4 but with this lens I really like the portraits. It is a sufficient aperture to get good looking portraits and the way it, it renders the background there and the auto focusing areas it is okay. It is okay. So it is a very usable lens for different situations for documentary photography, for street photography, for portrait photography, for close up shots. So I really really like this lens. It is a go-to lens. It is a go-to lens. Another thing that I like about this lens regarding the image quality it is the fact that it is having so good resolution and micro contrast especially micro contrast probably that I got good pictures by night. So even if it is an f2 lens in a not so well lit place you get good results with the X-Pro3 sensor and with this lens you can really use it 
by night. So this is huge. This is huge. So this means this lens, this lens can stay on your camera all day long. So it is a perfect match for X Pro C. It really is. Regarding the build quality, I don't want to enter in too much details, but what I can tell you it is, it's amazing. It's amazing. It is very light. It is very sturdy. It resisted very well in heavy rainy condition, in heavy snowing conditions. So this means a lot. This means a lot. I've used this combo on a very wet snowy day and uh, I got no problems. The camera and the lens were soaked and I really got no problems. It I was keep shooting and shooting and shooting and really I had no problems at all. Regarding the focusing speed, I must tell you this lens it is fast, it is deadly fast. It is focusing very fast on X Pro C and also on XE4. The AFS, the AFC, the tracking, the eye tracking, all it's working fine for normal usable conditions. So. I don't see any, any problems, any complaints that I could have regarding the AF. It is not noisy, it is very fast, it is very accurate. So, really love the autofocusing system on this lens. As you can see, it is balancing very well on X Pro 3 and let me show you how it is on XE4. So on XE4, I feel it a little longer with this lens hood. This is not the lens hood that it, uh, this lens comes. It is a metal lens hood. The lens hood of this lens, it is a plasticky lens hood and uh, it is usable. It is more practical than this metal lens hood, but I don't like it too much. It is pretty ugly. You can buy a squared lens hood for uh, this lens and uh, you'll get a very nice looking lens with that uh, square hood. But on XE4 with this lens hood, it is, uh, it is coming a little too much in the front. But without the lens hood or with the plasticky lens hood from Fujifilm, pff, amazing package, amazing small 50 millimeters camera. Really, really like it. If XE4 would have an IBIS, it would be another story. So it is balancing very well on different cameras. So I really, really recommend this lens because you will get great, great images using this lens. So now let me tell you my conclusion about this lens after using it over a year. And why is not what you think or what the YouTubers told you about this lens. So everybody praised this lens and I'm praising this lens too. But I have a problem. I have a problem with this lens. Uh, or not with this lens, with Fujifilm. With Fujifilm. Because they didn't make a 36mm f2 lens. So the problem is not with the lens. The problem is that uh, we don't have on the Fujifilm system a true 50 mm field of view lens, a small, a small 50 mm field of view lens. A small 50 mm field of view lens on a full frame camera, it would be a 33 mm f2 lens. And we don't have this. And this is my problem with this lens. I feel that 53 mm field of view. I feel it it is a little longer than a 50 mm field of view on a full frame camera or a 25 mm lens on a micro four thirds camera that it is giving me a 50 mm field of view. This field of view, this 53 mm field of view, it is tighter, it is tighter and this is bothering me on streets. And in tight places. A 50 millimeters would be better, would be great. We have some option, but they are bigger and they are uh, expensive. We have the 33 millimeters f1.4, finally. 
from Fujifilm and we have the 33mm f1.4 from Viltrox, but it's not weather sealed. The Fujifilm 33mm f1.4, it is big, it is expensive. The 33mm f1.4 from Viltrox, it is cheap, but it is also big. It is not small like this lens. So this would have been a perfect lens from my point of view if, if Fujifilm will make a second lens, a 33mm f2 lens. It would have made more sense, more sense regarding the street photography genre. I really recommend this lens, but have in mind, have in mind that it is a tighter lens. And if you are like me, a little picky, uh, you will feel that 3mm tighter field of view that you'll have on this lens. But if you can accept it, and I accept it, but I am buzzed by the idea. Why? Why? I don't have 50 millimeters field of view. I really love a little wider lens. I don't want to go beyond the 50 millimeters field of view. So if you want to buy this lens, uh, I really recommend it. Buy it. It will deliver in the majority of the cases. Just have that in mind that it is a 53 millimeters field of view and then and not a 50 millimeters field of view. And if you experienced the 50 millimeters field of view on a full frame camera or on a micro four thirds camera, you will feel that tighter angle. But if you didn't experience the 50 millimeters field of view, you will not know it, you will not feel it, so you will not have a comparison to make and you will be okay with that. I'm using this lens, I'm still using it and uh, it is a go-to for street photography and for documentary photography. I really hope Fujifilm in the future will make a 33mm f2 lens for accompanying the 33mm f1.4 lens that they've recently made. Thank you for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel because soon I will publish a review about the 35mm f1.4 lens. And also check my blog site where you will find my article with notes and image samples with the 35mm f2 lens. Thank you for watching this video and uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye. As you can see the 35mm f1.4 it is balancing excellent, excellent on XE4 and pairing this with the 80mm f2 from Fuji will give you on XE4 an amazing powerful photographic kit. Check my review regarding the Fujifilm XE4 and the Fujifilm 18mm f2 lens.